and Tracks is proud to be sponsored by these fine products. Well, Ben Beckin and myself just got back from Missouri. We had a great time down there. We've seen a lot of deer. I ended up taking a pretty nice buck. Uh, got home here and I told the wife, I said, you know what, that rut's still going on pretty good. I've got a small piece down in Indiana and I've got a tag in my pocket that's just burning a hole in it. And she says, well, why don't you just jump on a truck and head on down and see if you can kill a buck. So I got on the phone and called a couple of my pro staff guys and no one can get away. They were all working. I said, well, I'm going to go solo. So I took off down there the next morning. Say no more. Let's see what happened. Well, here I am. I'm now in Indiana. Three hour drive this morning. Uh, I got here a little bit late. I just got my tree stand here about a half hour ago. Um, it was daylight when I got out here. So I'm going to sit here, uh, plan on sitting here the whole day and uh, see what happens. It's two days before gun season. Today's Thursday. Um, gun season opens on Saturday. So I'm just going to sit here and the rut is probably about. I'm winding down here, I think. Um, don't know, so this will be my first all-day sit here in Indiana. So it's a piece of property that I got here, about eight acres. It's not much. It's a pocket of woods right in the middle of a great big field. So we'll uh, sit here today and let's see what happens. I'm hoping like heck a big old monster buck just comes cruising through here, looking for does, and I'm at the right place at the right time. So. See ya. I had some yo-yo over here about a half hour ago shooting his shotgun. I seen a little guy this morning chasing a doe through here, but it's been quiet all day in here. I have not seen a deer. About uh, 10 minutes ago, there's a big field up here. I seen a big coyote out here this morning crossing that field. I mean a big coyote. Looked almost like a wolf, but anyhow. 10, 15 minutes ago, I seen a deer crossing his field, so I looked and I see he had his head down to the ground, going the same way the coyote was earlier this morning. So I went ahead and grabbed my rattling antlers, and I cracked them together a couple times, pretty hard, and I got his attention, and he stopped. And he's 100, I want to say 150 yards away from me. And he stopped, and he looked over here, let me show you when I crack these things together, they make some noise. That's what I did. He got his attention. He come on a dead run. He come straight at me and before I could even get my antlers hung up, he was 50, 45, 50 yards in the trees here looking for that fight. I didn't have time to even turn the camera on. I got my hand on my bow and he stopped at about 45 yards. He turned to the right and he started quartering away from me. I picked an open at about 45 yards and I let one fly. I had a few, few branches there. I thought I caught a branch, but I don't think I did. And I made a Texas heart shot on him. I want to apologize for that. Um, but it was quartering away, Texas heart shot. It went up into the chest cavity. I seen the arrow buried quite a ways in him. Um, I think it's a good shot. I mean, I don't like to make a shot like that, but I think it's a good shot. I don't know where he went. He went up into this thick stuff. I didn't see him cross that field again, so he might have went down already. Usually a shot like that, they don't go too far. Um, so anyhow, I'm going to climb down here in a few minutes and uh, go get on him and see what happens. So I tell you what, I love bowling him, man. There's nothing better more exciting than especially when it ruts on when that buck is coming in full tilt he come in like he was shot out of a cannon I love it, I love it. I'm feeding my obsession exciting Indiana this one's for my brother Raj man I lost my brother with cancer this year. Uh, he was my hunting partner. Uh, we 
did a lot of stuff together, a lot of hunts, a lot of, a lot of hunts. I really miss that man, I'll tell you what. So, anyhow, that buck's for him. Texas hard shot, but I think I made a good shot on him, so I think he's going to go down. Come on, Raj. Miller Welding Supply and Miller Industrial Gases is your complete welding and automation source. And after 65 years, everything has changed except our service. At Miller Welding Supply and Miller Industrial Glasses, we pride ourselves on being the leaders in service and satisfaction, while keeping our customers on the leading edge of technology with five great locations throughout Michigan. You can count on us to exceed your expectations. Stop by Bunker Hill Chill and Grill in Burroughs, Michigan. They have great food, plenty of big screens to watch all your favorite sports, and an outside patio that seats over 80 people for all your entertainment needs. Whether it's work, play, or hunting, we trust our trucks to take us anywhere we need to go because they get serviced at Denoyer Chevrolet. Bring your truck in this fall and get it serviced at Denoyer. Nelson Steel Products, located in Holland, Michigan, has been a leader in the steel fabrication industry since 1945. Specializing in steel fabrication, robotic welding, and laser cutting, Nelson Steel Products brings years of experience to their clients. With strong client relations, innovative technology, and a reputation for quality, Nelson Steel has continued to grow in the industry and in your community. When it comes to finding the right partner, it stops at Nelson Steel Products. Visit NelsonSteelProducts.com to learn more. If it's made of steel, we'll make it. You know what we like about Quaker is it doesn't matter whether you're chasing turkeys in the spring or elk in the fall. They have a product for you. Um, but my tree stand sits probably about maybe 40 yards behind me here. And I got on where I shot this deer here a little while ago. And I'm looking for blood. Um, and either when you shoot them in the butt, you get a real good blood trail or you hardly get any trail at all. And I happen to look up here in front of me. Check this out. I don't know if you can see that deer laying there. He didn't go 60 yards after I shot him. He's by sure not a monster by all means, but I worked hard for my deer, and I guess I'm going to quit tracking. <laughs> Let's go take a look at him. buried into his butt. And it is filled it up as you can see. But he's a beautiful deer. Big body deer too. Here I am in Indiana. I'm doing solo. I want to apologize. Uh, when you run a camera by yourself, I tell you what, you, you run out of time real quick. No time to turn the camera on. I had to make a decision, shoot or no shoot. Um, I ended up taking this buck right here, which is, uh, I don't know if you can see him or not. I'm sorry with this camera work here, but it's a pretty decent, pretty decent buck. You know? um, just a, a beautiful, beautiful deer for a solo hunt uh, um, of course I'm using my prime bow uh, I want to thank um, Hamskia uh, for the rest I tell you what they make some good equipment of course Luminoc, um, Victory Arrows, uh, Suntlock of course, uh, Asco and uh, thank all you guys man for for being with me uh, I could not I could not do it without you, I'm telling you. I mean, you guys got, uh, I got the best of the best equipment, so uh, I, I'm blessed. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, well, I got my work cut out for me. I'm going to get this deer up and out of here, so I will talk to you later. See ya. All right, now we're back in Michigan, 
and I've got a neighbor that has a pile of does on his property and he wants to get rid of a few of them and I told him I'd be more than happy to help him out so don't go anywhere let's see what happens well hey everybody this is the second day before the closing of muzzleloader season we've been seeing a small buck out here in this area we're hunting uh, someone must have shot it in the front leg and it broke its front leg. Uh, looks like it may not make the winter. So you know what, if we see that deer tonight, Denise has a muzzle loader. She's going to shoot that deer tonight if we see it. If not, I'm out after a couple of does. I want to put some meat in the freezer. I'm going to be using my recurve tonight, uh, of course, fingers and no sights. Um, but anyhow, we're going to go out there tonight and we're going to have a good time. The weather is fairly nice tonight. It's not real cold. Uh, wind's coming out of the east. Um, we're excited, so uh, stay with us. had a nice doe within muzzleloader range, but Denise did not want to shoot it. She wanted to wait for that buck, and it was a little too far out for my recurve. We are, we're heading out. Denise and I was out last night with the bows uh, trying to put down a doe. Uh, I think tomorrow is the last day of muzzleloader season and I sort of want to put one more deer in the freezer so I got a hold of uh, Zach Vandabossi and he said yeah I'll run camera for you tonight. So we're going to go out with a muzzleloader tonight and see if we can put a big doe on the ground. So hang with us and uh, let's see that big guy, big girl drop. Well here we are. As you can see, we got a heck of a long walk. Our blind was right there, past that log pile. Like I say, our goal is tonight to uh, put a big doe on the ground. Uh, the guy that owns this property, he really wants some does shot out of here. He's got a lot of does in here. He's been bugging me to come in and do it, so I thought, well, tonight I'm gonna get the old uh, muzzle loader out and we're gonna see if we put a doe on the ground, so stay with us.
and Zach Bandy Bossy and myself were out here tonight. Um, we just got the blind. It's uh, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we're going to sit here. No action yet, but we're going to sit here and see what happens. Zach's going to run the camera. We have been seeing a buck out here, a small buck that's been shot in the front leg. Looked like it's wounded pretty bad. If we see that buck tonight, we're going to take him. Um, it's the last. Tomorrow's the last day of muzzle order season, so it's legal to shoot this buck if I see it. So if I see it tonight, I'm going to take it. Uh, my goal is to shoot a big doe, so that's what we're here for. Like I say, Bob's got a lot of deer out here, and he's been wanting me to take some does for quite a while, but I've just been busy. But I got some time tonight, and we could use the meat, so. Hey everybody, I'd like to just take a minute. I'm Ray Colvin from Racks and Tracks TV. Just to thank Hunter Safety Systems for coming up with this harness. I'll tell you what, it's pretty nice for hanging tree stands. You got your pouches, all your tree steps. You got plenty of room, plenty of bags when you're up there. Your hands are free. And don't forget, whatever you do, bring your lifeline with you because they call it a lifeline for a reason. Thank you very much, Hunter Safety Systems. We here at Racks and Tracks take our scent control very seriously. That's why we wear ScentLock. They are the leading innovators of scent control. Hey, T-Bone here. Let's talk about expandable broadheads. Two inch, two blade expandables only have a two and a half inch cutting surface and are actually more like a sliver. G5's T3 all steel big cut expandable has a whopping three inches of cutting surface. Three blades produce three independent flaps creating a big old chunk. So, do you want a sliver or a T3 chunk? You'll never second guess your shop placement again. Shoot Luminoc. You'll always know where your arrow goes. You get a chance, you need to check out ASCO's website. Get their product, use their sport wash, wash your clothes, spray it in this UV, you will be amazed. It makes you invisible.
you sit to this blind, you'll see anywhere from 25 to 30 does at five or six bucks. Uh, we got out here late. Um, we seen a few does, but you know, we ended up shooting a nice big one tonight. So, well, we're not gonna give it too much time. We're gonna let go for a few minutes. And they probably made a pretty good shot on her. You can actually see the blood spraying out of her side right now. Here's stuff right here. There's a pretty good blood right here. In here. In here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Oh, you will pick that up easy. Right out here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This blood is spraying. Look at this. Hoo 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 hoo. over right here. Nice. Oh, look at that shot. Right where I put it, buddy. That is a, exactly. Go to an inch, inch and a half, half down. I'm a double back. That's a good doe. That's a nice doe. That's a good one. Look at that shot. Perfect. Look at you go. 60 yards. Nice. Well, here we are. Uh, last day of muzzleloader season. Uh, Zach Vandenbossi and myself decided we're going to go out and take a couple of uh, big does here, some does for the last day. Uh, shot doesn't hear it about 130 yards with my 50 cal. It did only went about 60 yards and piled up big doe. Uh, a lot of deer out here on this property and uh, the guy that owns it, Bob, he wanted some of these deer taken out of here so Zach and I said well one of the guys to talk to we'll take them out for you so I still have a couple doe tags left here for late season uh, maybe archery I might go out and shoot one more um, anyhow I want to thank Bob very much for let's come out and uh, get the opportunity to take a couple of his deer off his property that's a big old doe right there big doe, buddy. Zach grabbed a hold of that thing and took off with it all by himself <laughs> look at the size of that thing Nice deer. One pretty good sized buck, got a shot at it, shot way low. I was nervous. And we're gonna try it again tonight. So hopefully we can get one. But tonight we're gonna bring some backup, aren't we? Ray thinks that I need backup. He saw my shot this morning and I was just a little low, quite a bit low. Only a couple feet. Only a couple feet, but it was, I was excited. That's Anyways. Why mess with flimsy hangers when you can use the zip start made by Slate River? They start the first time, every time. Well, we had a great time in Indiana. We had a lot of fun in Michigan. We sure hope that you guys enjoyed today's show as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next week, I'm Ray Colvin, and we'll see you right here on Racks and Tracks. Racks and Tracks is also sponsored by these fine products.